On today's episode of World of Micah, we're heading to Disney's Hollywood Studios. We're going to be transporting back to the past from May 1st, 1989 to April 29th, 2016. Earful Tower sat here at the Disney MGM Studios as well as the Disney Hollywood Studios. We're going to match up some photos, talk about its history, and even find where some signs and images of this Earful Tower still remain here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We would have been able to see it right over there along with the old Tower of Terror sign. Man, quit removing cool signs. Yeah, that whole skyline straight ahead looks really different without the, uh, the Earful Tower. It's a windy day. It's a great day to talk about the Earful Tower. Now, let's take a closer look. Yeah, holy cow. Florida, you're so windy. And my camera doesn't do good in wind. I'm working on that. I had to turn my hat backwards. This is like hurricane winds. Holy cow. This is insane. I'm in like a wind tunnel. It feels really good though. So when the Disney MGM Studios first opened in 1989, the parks at Walt Disney World started having their own icons. So Magic Kingdom was known for Cinderella Castle, Epcot, Spaceship Earth. The Disney MGM Studios was their earful tower, and it was not actually a real working water tower. It was just a 130 foot tower that they used because most studios out in Los Angeles have towers. Paramount has one. So many towers are out in Hollywood. And when the Disney MGM Studios was built here, they were like, hey, this is a real working studio. Let's make our own tower, our own water tower. And they put a set of Mickey ears on it. Genius. Yeah, before you even went into the park, you could see it straight ahead was where this photograph was taken. All right, let's head inside for this uh, the storm. It sits right on us. I'm glad to see you're still standing, Bo. We gotta talk about this fearful tower before the storm comes in. See you later, pal. Dude, look at the way these trees are swaying, these palm trees. Now see this trash can right here used to have the Earful Tower right over here and it still remains here in a few spots. There's one right there. And I fully expect these to be removed probably after I show them. It'll be passed along enough. I really hope it doesn't though. But there it is, the Earful Tower to the left. It's crazy out here, man. Like this wind literally picks up and like a bunch of stuff just blows all around there's so many leaves here today and these poor palm trees are <laughs> they're getting it today and our second spot is down sunset and this one i do enjoy because it's up close so you can get right up here to it you see it there pretty pretty cool right what an icon and it's kind of ironic because in the background, the Hollywood Tower Hotel is now the current icon. I was just looking here at the Majestic Theater. I used to love going into the old Planet Hollywood. And I remember the Planet Hollywood globe right up there. You can still see the, the mechanism that held it. I think at one point that thing used to spin. See it right up there? That's where it used to sit. See, I love stuff like that. And time waits for no man, especially at a Disney park, because in 2016, when they removed the Earful Tower, they went along and replaced these, see? But there are a few that still remain. I'm glad I showed those. I hope they remain as like little Easter eggs. Inside the ABC commissary, you can also find a hidden Earful Tower. If you walk inside and you look right up here, you will see a few icons, but look right over there there it is in all its glory the earful tower i think it's the only place on property you can really see it like that but now let's head over and find exactly where that earful tower used to sit compare photos it's pretty cool they, they built a tower here just like the original Disney Studios in Burbank. And there is one still in Paris too. 
All right, if we're gonna look at the uh, trusty old map, it would have sat right there, like right actually there, right where Slinky Dog takes off. That's where it sat. The tram tour would be coming back here. That's Residential Street, Streets of America, over here. So we're gonna be matching up some photos looking down this way at it. This place sure has changed a lot. The, the Mickey face is almost gone. You can see the, the brow and the face of Mickey there in the top of his head and his ear. The other ear was here and his, his mouth was there. That was his nose originally. If I turn my phone like this, now you probably can see the Mickey. And I totally understand how this could have been a conflict of interest and everything with Disney and MGM's partnership by using this as the icon. You know, they, I think they really wanted people to still go to actual Grommans in Hollywood. But this straight ahead used to be the entrance to the studio tour here. And it was so cool because when you went up here to get on your tram and do the back lot tour, you could see the Eiffel Tower while you were standing in line. All right. Now Launch Bay Studio, original back lot tour entrance here. And there's a photograph that I found. If you looked to the left, right over there was the tower. Let's match it up. Yeah, this is this is it right here. The two palm trees, the back lot entrance. The Eiffel Tower would have been right over here. They've done some work on this building. And here's the photograph. See, got you excited because you knew to the right, when you were going into that entrance, you were going to a back lot. And if you've ever been to Burbank, you saw the Disney Tower out there, the water tower. You know, it's actually a real working tower. You, you've seen Paramount's water tower. You know, you've seen other towers, Warner Brothers, you know, they keep coming to my head as I'm talking, but you've seen those. And here at Disney, it was a real studio and they had a tower. This is what it looks like current day on a windy, windy, windy day here in April. Only a decade later, Man, realistically, you would have been able to see that. <laughs> That's totally why they removed it. Because for one, Toy Story Land was gonna go in its place, but it could be seen throughout the park. And I just don't think they're into that whole studio concept like that. Now they have these lands like Batu and Andy's backyard here in Toy Story Land. You know what I mean? It, times have changed here at the, the studios, quote. And there's our friend Roy right there, Roy O'Disney. Disney. And see the Earful Tower would have been straight ahead here. And there's the original animation studios over there. So we're definitely in the heart of that back lot area. Yeah, legit straight ahead. Right there is where the Earful Tower would have sat. And now it's home to Andy's backyard. I don't think Slinky Dog is operational right now. It's a little quiet back here in Andy's backyard, but that's where the Earful Tower would have sat straight ahead until April 29th, 2016. Nope, it's working. Okay, so right behind that fence there is a parking garage. And so now that I've shown you where the parking garage is, this image right here will probably make more sense. You can see the topiary, Earful Tower, and the Earful Tower. And behind the fence area, like I told you, is a parking garage for cast members only. And this is what that uh, looked like when you were on the back lot tour. They would drive by, they would talk about it. I believe they actually said what size hat Mickey would wear. Does anybody remember the hat size? A little trivia for you, comment that. But this is what that area kind of looks like today, more or less. I'm not standing in the exact spot, but using uh, Google images and maps and everything, we can kind of pinpoint it. And then if you were looking straight ahead, just on a higher scale, you could see the Tower of Terror in the distance. And that's where the Eiffel Tower was set, like from this angle looking at, I would have been obviously standing, if the tower's here, I would have to be over here. But because of Toy Story land and the layout and where I can stand, this is the best we can do. Just kind of giving you guys a general area, but I wanted to make sure you guys knew. Right up there is the Tower of Terror through those, those bushes there. So that's what we're looking at. And right here is the parking garage. So here's a really cool shot from on top of the Earful Tower. Looking down, you can see the Tower of Terror as well. All right, I've overstayed my welcome in this area. Time to move on. And I think this is the angle they used right there 
the Tower of Terror to the right of Jesse. You can see the Earful Tower to the right of that Tower of Terror where it was. Just kind of giving you guys like a, you know, a, a general layout. It, it, this is a very difficult thing to do, lining this up back here. Because of the sheer magnitude of size and where you can and cannot st stand, that's the, the tricky part of this whole video. But just so you guys know, the Earful Tower sat right over there. <laughs> Are we gonna beat the rain? Are we gonna beat the rain? We got a few more stops. Oh boy, I didn't bring an umbrella. And when they first opened the Disney MGM Studios, they did film here. And when they would do the bumpers at the end of a TV show or something that was filmed here, they always put the logo the bumper would say, produced at the Disney MGM Studios, and it was the Earful Tower all lit up. In a way, I think Walt would have loved that. Now, the one thing I did like about the Earful Tower is, like, during the holidays, they would actually... Whoa, did you hear the whistle over there from Men and Bills? Wow, I'm sure you did. They used to dress it up for different occasions. During Christmas, like the holiday season, they would put a Santa hat on it. When the, uh, the 90s remake of 101 Dalmatians came out, they had a theme for that. And also when Fantasmic opened, they decked it out. It was kind of their way of promoting something new in the park. And I think that's really cool. There's some elements like that at Disney that I really miss. How about you? Just another one of the many things that I loved about Michael Eisner. Earful Tower, man. What a genius idea. But now the Hollywood Tower Hotel is our icon here at the Disney Hollywood Studios. What do you think? I don't mind it. All right, Hollywood land. Thanks for a trip to the past. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I had a lot of fun making this episode. I do miss that Earful Tower if I haven't said that enough. Now you know. What are your thoughts? Do you miss it or heh, whatever? Let me know. I will see you guys on the next episode. Until then, stay weird. Thanks for being my friend. Goodbye. Starting to rain. We did it.